Hey everybody, it's Will and Jake at the State Capitol where we're wrapping up a really busy week. Uh, today is crossover day, day 28. The legislature is still in uh, late at night working on bills. Uh, this week we've had a lot of exciting things including the 150th anniversary of the Georgia Department of Agriculture which makes it uh, the oldest Department of Agriculture in the country. Uh, Commissioner Harper had a great celebration across the street with the Governor uh, and the Speaker of the House and, and several other special guests in, including GAC board member Casey Cox Kerr who spoke to the group about uh, how the department's impacted her farm and her family and, and how the department really protects agriculture. So it's been a great week, uh, been a busy week, a lot of things moving across the street. Jake, tell us a little bit about some of the legislation that's passing. Yeah, like you said, it's been, it's been action packed. We've, uh, we've seen bills ranging on a number of topics, but primarily for, for us, we have a lot of priority bills that were in play today. Uh, still have a couple that have yet to been called, but um, we, we kind of started out with, with some of our big bills that, that we've been looking for. Uh, one of those is Senate Bill 542 by Senator Sam Watson. That's dealing with the public trust doctrine on those water and private property rights that we've talked to, to you a lot about. Um, that's a huge bill, we think, to protect the industry, to protect businesses, private property owners um, from unwanted litigation. Um, so that's huge getting through that step. There's also a House bill that that looks a lot like that bill um, we're watching closely uh, that passed last week. But we're, we're watching that closely. We've seen some another bill, Senate Bill 420 by Senator Anna Vitarte. Um, that is dealing with some foreign owned land. Uh, we, we've, we've heard a lot about that, um, where, where ag land is being bought by some of our foreign adversaries. Um, and that bill looks to curb that and protect uh, those landowners and farmers that that, that need that land to produce the goods that we all consume. Uh, so we're excited that that passed today. House Bill 1052 by Representative Chaz Cannon was one that we had a lot of focus on. That deals with CUVA. Um, it, it's clarifying some language um, and it's modernizing uh, CUVA, so to speak, uh, where it allows for some non-family members uh, to go into partnership together to, to lease some land and, and, and get it into production agriculture in a conservation use um, and still, uh, still uh, be applicable for that CUVA program. Uh, we've also seen House Bill 1371 by Whit Burchett. Uh, that's a tort reform bill. Uh, it's been a lot of discussion on that by multiple, multiple parties. Uh, and that's dealing with premise liability. That passed the House just a few minutes ago. Uh, looking forward to working on that, tweaking that language to make sure it works for businesses um, and agribusinesses across the state. Uh, we've, we're still looking for House Bill 1274, and that's by Representative David, David Huddleston. And that's dealing with the veterinary loan repayment program. Uh, you know, the industry is, has needed large animal food veterinarians across the state for some time. And this program, uh, we're looking to revamp it to hopefully incentivize some, some younger people, some new vets to, to go into these areas, these rural communities, uh, and provide the service that, that the industry desperately needs. So we're looking forward to that. Expect it to come up tonight, um, obviously staying in tune. Uh, and, and working the ropes uh, on that. But it's been a great session so far. Uh, crossover day has been everything that we expected it to be and look forward to working on behalf of agribusiness throughout the session.